Joaquin Vea Barro, October 11, 1958 to February 23, 2016, was a Catalan primatologist. Barro was a student of Jordi Sabater Pai, as well as a biopsychology professor at the University of Barcelona and the director of the university's Primate Research Center. His research in the jungles of Zaire and Veracruz focused on the relationship between the environment and behavior of primates, and changes in their relationships due to human activity. He died in Barcelona on February 23, 2016, two years after being diagnosed with cancer. Joaquim Vea was born on October 11, 1958, and grew up in the neighborhood of Sant Andrew de Palomar in Barcelona. The internet scholar Andrew Vea Barrow is his brother. He completed his degree in psychology at the University of Barcelona in 1983, and three years later, in 1986, his doctorate with a thesis on animal behavior, named Functional Models in Animal Behavior, Simulation of a Motivational System. Before completing his degree he published IQ and Individual Differences, 1982, and from 1983 he started to become interested in issues of animal behavior, a subject on which he developed his doctoral thesis after publishing Cognitive Processes in Animal Behavior and Psycholinguistic Application, 1983, and Symbolic Behavior in the White Rat, Simulation of the Learning of Words, 1986, pieces of work which analyzed the possibilities of extrapolating to humans the results of behavioral experiments on lower animals. Vea was a close associate and protege of Jordi Sabater Pai, the discoverer of the white gorilla Capito de Neve. Vea collaborated with Sabater Pai in research on bonobos, pygmy chimpanzees, in the jungle of Zaire in 1988. Research he conducted within the period of 1985 to 1996, focused on behavioral variability and the processes of adaption. On top of joint publications with Sabater Pai, various studies on primate behavior stand out from this period including Instrumental Behavior of the Chimpanzee, Pan Troglodytes, in its Natural Habitat, 1988, and Innovation and Diffusion of Behavior Patterns in Primate Societies, The Birth of Culture, 1990. He also accompanied Sabater Pai in 1997 when he was president of the Spanish Association of Primatology, via acting as vice president. In 2000 he completed an award-winning project on the Concuadidoli National Park, Republic of the Congo. Vea's relationship with the University of Veracruz began in 1997 when he participated in an exchange program for university professors organized by the Spanish Agency for International Development Cooperation, which he repeated in 1998 and again in 1999. It was in Veracruz where he met Ernesto Rodriguez Luna, with whom he continued to collaborate later on. This first contact made it possible to sign a collaboration agreement between the Faculty of Psychology at the University of Barcelona and the Institute of Neuroethology at the University of Veracruz in 2000. In 2001, he first came into contact with Los Tuxlas Biosphere Reserve in Veracruz, Mexico. Considered the most northern jungle on the planet and declared a biosphere reserve by UNESCO, Vea saw an opportunity to deepen the study of ethological factors initiated by Sabater Pai. From 2002 he extended the institutional collaboration incorporating students from both universities in the investigation work in the jungle. This activity has allowed the participation of 50 students in the first 10 years, whose work is summed up in 20 theses on aspects related to Aluata Paliata populations, studied in situ, half of which Joaquim Ve himself supervised. In 2005 he began to research the effects of isolation in fragments of rainforest, caused by deforestation on the populations of Aluata, howler monkeys. Aluata are tree-dwelling animals that live virtually without touching the ground, the fragmentation of the rainforest causes them to become immobilized in one area. In 2011 he undertook a new campaign in Los Tuxlas at the San Martin Volcano, part of a joint project between the University of Barcelona and the University of Veracruz. The team, co-directed by Joaquim Vea and Ernesto Rodriguez Luna from the Mexican University, investigated the impact of territorial fragmentation on the conservation of the Aluata paliata. Although the species is not endangered on a global scale, within the jungle of Veracruz researchers have detected a decrease in the population, inspiring this collaborative work of analysis. One of the reasons behind the decrease is due to the competition with humans for space. Speaking of this topic, Vea stated in 2011, 
we have to plan how human populations are going to live alongside conservation policies in this habitat. We cannot trust in sustainable use of natural resources, because when humans aren't able to extract the resources they want, the process intensifies, breaking the ecological equilibrium. It is therefore vital to include the human population in conservation policies. To monitor the possible migration of different isolated spaces within the jungle, they launched a program of genetic monitoring of populations in collaboration with the University of Cambridge. The results of the studies on the fragmentation of populations identified an increase in stress, especially among females, when a male from outside the group approached the area, because they felt that their offspring are being threatened. In addition, food limitation in areas of reduced surface area was forcing individuals to adapt their diet to increased food deprivation. Vea highlighted that, although this situation revealed up to what point individuals have the capacity for adaption, in some cases, undernourishment can lead to health problems that would make the population inviable. Results can be compared to humans who do not always eat everything which they should, for example in underdeveloped countries that have problems with malnutrition, rickets, a range of illnesses, but this does not put an end to the population, but rather provokes them to change their characteristics. Since 1991, research groups at the University of Barcelona interested in the origin of the human species and primate behavior have been working in collaboration, a unique initiative in the international sphere. For the first time, the study of evolution and the behavior of the human species, as well as of other primates, was being conducted between research teams from different backgrounds, evolution of hominids and other primates, hominid, human origins group, and information technology in behavioral sciences. This collection of researchers constituted the Special Center of Primate Research, CRP in Catalan, of which Joaquim Vea was director. It is from this center, at the University of Barcelona, from which all field work on primates is coordinated. In the latter phase of his life, Vea was appointed tenured professor of the Department of Psychiatry and Clinical Psychobiology at the University of Barcelona. He supervised 12 doctoral theses related to the research of primates in Veracruz, at the Autonomous University of Madrid and the University of Barcelona. He was also part of the Scientific Council for different international postgraduate studies, such as Animal Behavior and Portugal Primatology, Mexico 2008 to 2009. Joaquim Vea was a multi-talented person, an avid reader, concerned about the society that surrounded him. He was capable of combining activities such as being a voluntary fireman with educational actions on human communication. His cultural inquisitiveness allowed him to link with the SIGES Historical Studies Center from its foundation in 1975, and he was appointed chair of the organization in 1992. Photography as a basic tool for any researcher became one of V.A.S. passions, and he was able to turn what only had functional and scientific value into works of art. For his photographic work, the scientist used the pseudonym Ricard Barrow. He had held various exhibitions in Siges, Barcelona and Mexico, where he had the support of Rosa Maria Lopez, director of the Fototeca Juan Malpica Mimendi in the city of Veracruz, who he met on one of his trips and was later to be his wife. Dedicated to photography since the 1980s, he moved from analog to digital and developed a style based on digital processing and the color saturation to create magical photographs. He often took photographs of the female nude, and of nature in the jungle of Veracruz. In an exhibition in Zalapa under the title, The Naked Tremor of Slim Trees, Ricardo Barrow used his images to demonstrate the human pressure on the jungle which he had observed in his research. The last exhibition was held at the Mexican Embassy of Barcelona in December 2015, when Vea had advanced cancer which would end his life a year later. It was a special tribute from the Mexican authorities for his professional involvement with the state of Veracruz and its natural reserve over the last 15 years. He died in Barcelona on February 23, 2016, two years after his illness was diagnosed.